What is up, you guys? It is your boy John here from Puma Plot. Welcome back to another On the Farm episode 89. I actually know what episode it is this time before I went to say it. So today is a drone episode, and we are out over the wheat field where they are putting in irrigation pipe. They will be putting in a deep well, and they are running roughly 8,000 feet of 8 inch pipe. Every 300 feet, they will have one of these green risers where they will be able to hook on their two inch water cannon. Their water cannon will have 1200 feet of pipe on a giant reel and you pull that across your field, you turn it on, let it rip, tater chip. It takes up to eight hours to put down one inch of quote rain. So they are irrigating quite a bit of ground. Like I said, about 8,000 feet of pipe worth. And it is going to be very interesting to see this in action next summer but they are out there putting it in now. So it's like, hey, let's let's film them a little bit. I don't actually have any, I'm talking really fast. Don't actually have any footage of them working because every time we go to the farm and we're at the farm like three days a week right now, they're never working. They're never working. I don't understand it. They must work on like Monday, Wednesday, and maybe Friday, but usually between Thursday and Sunday, they don't get anything done. So I don't quite understand it, but hey whatever floats their boat. So there's another riser about 300 feet away. Should be roughly 300 feet. That gun shoots 150 feet wide total. So if you do that every 300 feet. So that's a thing. Um, but yeah, Deepwell is going to go in. They're going to have a four cylinder diesel John Deere uh, stationary engine to run the pump. They were going to go electric. However, our electric company wanted a lot of money to do some upgrades to the network down there because they said when they would turn the pump on it was going to dim everybody's lights down there and they're like eh, you don't really want to do that so they have decided to go diesel instead of electric it was going to be a hundred horsepower electric motor which is pretty good size just saying so this is a little t off of the main run and I found this very interesting. That is eight inch PVC pipe and they're hooking it. You guys can see it takes a right turn and uh, talk to Tex and TeamSpeak and he is a plumber and he said, yes, you can do this. It's not always the common method, but yes, you can do this. Um, I personally, I don't think I would do that. I would run it straight out and put an elbow in, but hey, that's just me. I'm not a professional. I just, that's how I would do it, but I'm not doing it. So it doesn't matter, right? But you can tell it takes it pretty good. It ends up making basically a 90 degree turn. That's pretty legit. So, I mean, that's a couple hundred feet of pipe. So, yeah, they're running a giant uh, ditch witch trencher. They are putting this pipe in around three feet, maybe a little bit deeper. Um, that's all you need here in the St. Louis area is about three feet. They do have this John Deere mini excavator. It's pretty cool. I, I would actually like to run this one because it has a cab, which means you have heat and air conditioning and that would be great this time of year down there. Just saying. Uh, if nothing else, you don't really even need heat or air just to get out of the wind some days down there. And you can see, look at the, the hook this pipe makes. It's it's insane. It's insane. I would totally not, not ever do this. But hey, they're professionals. They do this for their uh, living. So I guess if they do it, then uh, it's all good to go. They're also using a skid steer. Uh, to help them in this project. I believe they put forks on it a lot to like pick up the pipe and move pipe around and, and stuff like that. And um, yeah, a little tracked skid steer. Pretty cool. And they're also, here's their big uh, ditch witch trencher. I'm not sure of like specs on any of this equipment. It looks pretty uh, legitimate. <laughs> Definitely looks pretty legit. So yeah. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to seeing them put the well in. They have not done that yet. Um, hopefully here one of these days. Maybe we'll actually be able to like film them doing it. I don't know. Um, like I said, we're down there about three days a week. And if they work on the other days, then I can't film it. So they have laid out a bunch of pipe across the field. It's not connected or anything, of course. It's just kind of there. So when they come through with the trencher, it's good to go. But we're flying like, you know, 40 miles an hour all right off the deck. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. So, yeah. Uh, the reason they're irrigating this ground is that in the summers, it gets really dry. So, what they're going to do, the ground that they're irrigating, basically half of it this year is going to be corn. Half of it's going to be 
wheat slash beans are just regular beans. And the theory is that you won't have to water everything at once. So it's going to be very, very cool. Here's another big stack of pipe that they have. Um, they'll be laying this out across the fields and uh, eventually burying it and running all kinds of water through it next summer, assuming it gets dry. So I don't know if they really want it to get dry or not, to be honest. Would you rather put the stuff in and not have it get dry, or would you? I don't know. So fast forward a couple days. We've got a little bit of snow here in the St. Louis area, and we decided to go to the river, and we were amazed at how much ice there was in the river. And there's kind of a reason for the ice in the river, and the biggest reason that I have for you is there's a lock and dam just downstream and it's preventing all of the ice from just flowing past. Although this river, you know, does run straight north. Figure out which river it is, guys. And so, of course, you know, there's going to be ice coming down the river this time of year. Uh, that's not uncommon, not unheard of. Very little open water. I mean, here's a little bit right here. Uh, but very little open water in general in this river. It's kind of impressive. The bald eagles actually like to hang out in this river over the winter. And there's some kind of bird right there that you guys can maybe start seeing. I don't know what it is. I'm not sure. Um, I was kind of trying to film it. I was not chasing it. I was not going to hurt it. If it turned around, I was going to back up. I'm not going to go cl any closer to it. Uh, I was just curious. And then I was like, oh, crap, there's trees. <laughs> uh, got a little dangerous there because, you know, I'm watching the tablet. I can't see kind of what's to my left. And I was flying kind of sideways. And it's like, oh, that was almost really really bad so there's like an island out in the middle of the river where there's uh trees growing obviously and uh yeah so like i said the reason this river is kind of big here and all iced up is because of the lock and dam just south uh down river um so yeah those big rock bluffs that you're seeing over there it may or may not be illinois just saying <laughs> you know uh, I'm sure you guys can figure it out anyway without me saying it. So, yeah, that's uh, Illinois over there. Um, yeah. <laughs> enough said, enough said. But it's pretty cool seeing the river all iced over and everything. And, I mean, you can tell it's iced up upstream for quite a ways. Uh, quite a ways upstream all iced in. So, it is pretty neat. Pretty neat. And then I think we just turned around and... I think a barge had come through here or something. You can kind of see that strip over there on the left where the ice is not as aggressive. I believe a barge had come through here, a tugboat or something had come through here earlier in the day and kind of disturbed that ice right there because it's like a clear shot down river. And if I turn around, then up river, same, just boom, right through the ice. So I don't know if they have a breaker that goes out and runs or what exactly it is but pretty cool and I, I jumped at the opportunity to uh, you know put the drone up over the river of course it is scary putting the drone up somewhere where if, if for some reason it were to go down I could not get to it obviously I'm not gonna walk out here this is not solid ice so thank you guys for watching I do appreciate it as always hit that like button for more subscribe if you have not already done so and of course toodles